Hi there, it's Tim again with Far North Magic. Playing another draft booster box for Modern Horizons. Uh, we, uh, I guess we're doing kind of trying to see. This is uh, box two of a case. I guess I'm gonna do a. Gonna try and do a comparison of the two cases after all the boxes have been opened. We got Chitter Spitter as the first rare, Bottle Gnomes, and Squirrel Token. And. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Originally wasn't gonna get this case. I was probably gonna try and get another set case. But uh we got a fractured sanity and tavern scoundrel. But the draft boxes were still cheaper by like thirty bucks. So I ended up just sticking with draft boxes based on like the bias of like that first case was pretty good. We got a uh, Gorill Shaman with our first fetch being a Verdant Catacombs. That's a nice one. Always nice to get some fetches out of the way so then you're not holding, not pressing. To got Chance Encounter, and our first mythic is the Torok. One of the lower mythics, definitely, but probably have four or five more. We got a Master of Death as the rare and Prophetic Titan. At the uncommon. But what are we doing here? Provisioner. We got Patriarch's Bidding. Oh, and a second fetch showing up this early is a Marsh Flats with Deepwood uh, Denison. Retro Asmo. I find those retros have held up a bit better than I was expecting. I was, I was thinking that they'd be very expensive at the beginning and then they'd get just crushed. But yeah, Foundation Breaker is even a decent uncommon. We got Sithis Harvest Hand. for those building enchanter sticks. Okay. Oh, we get him put in solitary with the Yabamaya Cradle Grove and the Territorial Kavu. Oh, and a Construct. We're uh, getting value in a bunch of slots. Back. Salvage. Oh, we got Yonis, uh, Ionis, Lonis. Ay, ay, ay. I messed this up. Cryptozoologist with a Tide Shaper in the retro foil. Unmarked Grave. Hmm. 
Yep, a prismatic ending in the retro. That's a nice one to get. Karmic Guide and Sarah Emissary. Sarah's Emissary. So, definitely on the outlook for some better mythics. We got a uh, Persist. As the rare for that pack. Just uh, it's not really. Oh, we got Dragon's Rage Channeler. Guess they got split up. And an Ave, Progenitor Ooze. Oh, we got Titania, Protector of Argroth, and a Piru. That Piru. Definitely. Power Creep makes those Elder Dragons not look that great. We got the Ranger, and the Betrayal. into moderation and uh, guilt blade prowler okay so we're at halfway point got to we gotta turn things around and glimpsing into tomorrow is not that way we're not there. But the heck. Oh, we got Wonder. Is the manufacturer. Oh, it's not a bad card. into three. Oh, and we got a Marsh Flats in the retro. That's nice. Got the Marsh Flats magnet going again. Kind of lost it for a little bit. But, uh, I guess we are definitely on a roll for retro fetches one in the last one one in this one yeah the bombardment and the apprentice so i wonder if that will be all for the case i don't know i can never figure that the rarity of them out we got dermo taxi and sweep the skies Consider to try and get a set of each of the fetches, but it's hard to know which version is the best version to get. We got Chef's Kiss. Which version do you like, as, well, or prefer for the any of the cards in this set? We got Upheaval. And we're going to music festival with Garth One Eye, I guess. We got the again, band of misfit toys. We got the dock hand and the Miss Vault Bridge. Okay. Definitely doing okay on the fetches. Definitely doing pretty bad on Mythics. We got Riptide Lab and an Asmo. Oh, and a Foil Vindicate.
Harmonic Prodigy as the rare. Rasta. Oh boy. We are getting the bad mythics. We're gonna get one box with like all the good mythics. Got Flame Rift as the foil. Like gonna be like one box with like Ragavan Salt uh Solitude Endurance. We got Vindicate. And Nykthos Paragon with a Mount Velus Antipore. Ay, ay, ay. This is one of those boom bust situations. So we're definitely getting a going bust on Mythics. We got a Void Mirror. Got five more to go. Hope for one more. for something decent. General Ferris Rock Rook. Elite Sketch. I messed that up. Oh well. Surgeon Belief. Wow, Blood Braid Marauder. That's a lot of foil rares this box. None that are very good, but oh well. Is what it is. We got oh we're getting him faded by a squirrel mob. And diamond lion. Recalibrate. and dress down well last pack I think this box is definitely on the somewhat below average scale we got the disc and we got a guy's will so we got uh, five mythics all kind of meh, but like I'm almost more excited about this uncommon slot than the mythics. But uh, the rare slot was actually pretty bad, also, because there's no other. Or two foil. Nothing else. Three foil rares. Yeah, that is kind of a rough, bit of a rougher box. Like, we did at least get the three, uh, three fetch average, the two being flats. And we got a cradle of uh, growth there, but, oh well. At least uh, this isn't just a one-off box, so if it was a one-off box, it'd be a major disappointment, so... Uh, I thank you guys for stopping by and watching, and if you could uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, um, that would be appreciated, and uh, thanks again for watching, take care, have a good rest of your day, and see you next time.